IUDs are supposed to be effective contraceptives that you can set and forget, but are they worth it? We want to talk about it right now. So Dr. Jen Gunter is with me the whole hour, and she's back to share the realities of IUDs. And she's joined by Dr. Antonia Sapon. It's so good to have you here. Um, Dr. Jen, I'm going to start with you. Can you walk us through what an IUD is and how it works? Yeah, so an IUD is an object that goes in the uterus. They're generally shaped like a T, but they can also be frame, what we call frameless and just kind of like more like a wire. And they're inserted. They, uh, there are two different kinds. There's ones with the hormone levonorgestrel, and there are ones that with copper. Copper kills sperm, and the hormone levonorgestrel changes cervical mucus, so sperm can't get through to, um, to fertilize a pregnancy. Okay. And um, the other benefit of the hormonal IUD is that it reduces bleeding. And can you show us how that works? Because you got that cool little yeah, prop over there. Might as well use it. We have a cool little model here. So uh -huh. um, this is the vagina, which isn't normally clear, obviously. Um, <laughs> and the, the uterus is up here. And um, and so what happens is the IUD is going to sit in the uterus. So this we have it comes with a long, thin inserter like a straw, and that there'll be a speculum in the vagina, and this goes in, and then it'll go all the way into the uterus. And then what we do is. We um, deploy it and it pops out like a little T, like that. And then when it's in all the way, we just slide it out. And then the, this is left in the uterus. And you have this string here that we cut. And so there's, oh, you can always feel the string. string. And then that's it. And that's this little device. And they are highly effective. They're the most, um, among the most effective forms of long acting reversible contraception, a very high user satisfaction. Okay, Dr. Tony, let's talk a little bit about the benefits of an IUD over other options. Yeah, I absolutely love IUDs. They are super effective, more than 99% effective in preventing pregnancy. If you change your mind and you want to have children, you can quickly remove it. Fertility goes back to its baseline. Mm -hmm. No remembering your pills or to change your patches, which, let's be honest, it's hard to remember every day to take something. Yeah. And then also they are quite therapeutic. So if you have really heavy bleeding, certain menstrual conditions like adenomyosis or polycystic ovarian syndrome, they can also be beneficial for treating that as well or managing some of those symptoms. So they're okay, fantastic good. options. And I also prevention, yeah. can, prevention of cancer, yes, right? True. So some women who oh. have irregular bleeding, they're at high risk for developing cancer of the lining of the uterus and the IUD can prevent that. Oh, that's good yeah. to know. Okay, well, we've got two women here to share their stories uh, with the IUD. We have Nicole and Megan in the audience. Give them some love. Thank you for coming out talking about personal things. So Nicole, I'll start with you. You're five years into having an IUD. You say it has been life changing. So tell us about your experience. Yeah, getting an IUD was definitely the best decision for me. Before I was on oral contraceptives and like you were saying, Dr. Tony, being able to like remember that the inconvenience and it also just threw my hormones out of whack gave me night sweats. So I decided to go with an hormonal IUD. And when I went, uh, two of my girlfriends came with me and during the insertion process, they said that it would be discomfort. At some point, it was more than that. It was like a sharp pain that I'd never felt before. And one of my friends said, based on my reaction, she's probably never getting one. <laughs> but thankfully, that only lasted for me during insertion. Afterwards, everything was fine. And I haven't had a period in over four years. So it's just the freedom and convenience has been unmatched. <laughs> Okay, excellent. And that's okay that she hasn't had a period. That's the part of it, right? That's yeah. okay. Megan, we also have Megan in the audience. So your experience was a bit more negative. Tell us what happened with you. Yeah, so I ended up getting an IUD because I just wasn't taking the oral contraceptive as much as I could remember at least. Um, and so I went into getting an IUD with not as much knowledge, that, knowledge as I should have. Um, I went in and I was told to take uh, Advil half an hour before I was getting it put in to help ease the discomfort and my discomfort immediately it was straight on intense it started getting worse as the hours and days went on um, I did end up passing out from the pain within an hour of getting it uh, inserted and from there on out the the discomfort lasted quite some time I was told it would only last a few days and it lasted probably a few weeks um, I was then in and out of the ER being told that my pain and discomfort was completely unrelated to an IUD. It wasn't anything to worry about. I was basically dismissed. And then uh, after a year, the pain and discomfort came back and I couldn't, I couldn't um, deal with it at that point. So I just went and had it removed. And from here on out, I've been dealing with um, flare-ups of discomfort and just not 
not comfortable whatsoever. I so appreciate you sharing that with 